Hello Art Club, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. This week it's going to be all about things that slither and crawl and hop, all those creepy crawly type things. And today we are going to get started with this creature over here, a slithering snake. So we want to get our supplies together first. We are going to want to get two pieces of paper. They can be any color you would like your snake to be. You can see in my example one here, I've chosen pink and red. So I'm gonna wanna get whatever colors you choose, once again, are totally fine. I'm gonna continue on with this pink and red theme here. Why not? I am going to want to have glue, scissors, a pencil. Now I'll be using a marker so it's easier to see on the screen. Um, and then you'll have the option, too, of decorating with things like your googly eyes, um, some markers, or anything that you might want to uh, decorate it with. So, there we have it. I'm going to move all of this off to the side for right now, and we're going to start with step number one. Now, of course, if anything in this video goes too fast, Please feel free to pause and rewind it or slow down the speed, whatever works best for you. All right, another thing I'm going to mention, I am going to be using my paper uh, stacked on top of each other. So you can see I've got my pink stacked on top of my red. Um, so you can choose to do that with yours too, but if you have an easier time folding and cutting a single piece of paper versus me uh, doing this two sheets of paper at a time, you can also separate them. So I just wanted to throw that out as a, a potential modification here. Okay, so I've got my two pieces of paper. You can see I've got one on top of the other, and I just kind of want to make sure that they're nice and lined up here. There we go. And my step number one is going to be to fold this in half, hamburger style. So kind of like if we were making a birthday card or a book. I'm going to fold it in half like that, okay? And our next step is going to then be to cut it down the center seam. So you could cut it like this, or I kind of like to actually make a little uh, tent out of it and cut it this way. For me, I find this easier to do, but totally up to you what works best for you. And once again, if you want to do this where you're cutting just a single sheet of paper at a time, instead of both of them together. That works too. But either way, we are looking to get four half sheets of paper, just like you see here. Okay? All right. I'm going to take two again. Like I said, I, I kind of like to work in twos, but you can work with just singles if you want. So now I'm going to fold this in half and cut it again. But this time when I fold it, I'm going to fold it what's called hot dog style. So you'll notice it's long and skinny, like a hot dog, right? So there we go. I've got it folded. Once again, you can cut it either this way, or if you want to make a tent out of it and fold, or cut it that way, that works too. You can cut it single. You can cut it double. Basically, we're just trying to, to make a whole bunch of skinny um, strips of paper that we are then going to turn into a chain, a paper chain. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Fold that in half, hot dog style, long and skinny, like so. And truth be told, you guys, you actually don't even need to do all of these. Um, it depends on how long you want your chain, aka your snake, to be. So if you think you want just kind of like a little baby snake, you definitely wouldn't need this many chains. So that's another modification too. Okay, so right now I've got eight pieces of paper. There's four of one color, four of the other. I'm going to decide what color I want the head of my snake to be. And I'm going to move that out. Okay, because we're still going to fold these guys one more time, but we need to make sure that the head is wide enough. So I'm going to keep that piece of paper. All right, same thing again. You guys know the drill by now. We stack them together. 
We fold them in half, hot dog style. Again, remember, we're going for long, skinny strips of paper because we want to make chains out of this. There we go. Oops, I'm getting a little bit off center there. That's okay, though. That's not going to be too noticeable by the time we're done. Yours might look kind of similar to that, too. No worries. All right. Do the same. And once again, I can choose how many of these that I want to do. If I don't want to do all of them, maybe I think eight would be enough. Because that does make a pretty long thing. Then we can stop here. And I think for the video, I'm going to do that. Just so our video doesn't go all too long. Well, once again, if you need to pause at any point because you want to make more or you're taking your time doing a nice job cutting, you can do that too. So, here we go. I've got, this is the size I want now. I've got eight skinny uh, strips. Of course, if I were to cut these, I could have even more yet. But for now, I'm going to push those off to the side and I'm going to create um, my snake's head. All right, so that's coming our way next. Um, when I think of the snake head, um, I like to think of it kind of like a diamond shape, but with rounded edges. So see what I mean here. Kind of like starts like this, rounded down, rounded up, rounded around. And I guess maybe the top of it might look more like an egg shape, but you can kind of see that, that, that sort of looks right like a diamond ish shape with a rounded edges and then of course the egg shape at the top so that's going to be my my snake head now i'm going to go ahead and cut that out and you guys can as well of course you're probably going to be using pencil for yours which is helpful because then you can erase it if any mistakes are made but i like to use the marker so it's easier to see on the camera all right from here we can decorate our snake's cute little face. Maybe we add some nostrils, like that. Maybe we want to give our snake a slithering tongue. I'm going to take some of my red paper and just cut out a little strip here. I don't actually need it to be that long, so I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller. So for a tongue, we can just cut a strip of paper. Now snakes can be so many different colors, right? I think the tongues probably could be too. Um, if nothing else in our imagination, it sure can. So I've just got the skinny strip of paper. And I'm going to cut a triangle. If you guys can see that okay on the camera, I'll plop it out. Maybe that'll be easier to see. Like that, just cut the triangle shape out of there. Don't need that. Another thing I like to do with the tongue, uh, where's my pencil? There we go. I like to give it a little curl. I think that adds some personality to it. So to add some curl, what I do is I take the edge of the tongue, the end of it, and I curl it around a pencil like this and give it a little hug with my fingers. And when I take the pencil off, <gasps> how cute is that, right? Isn't that great? All right, um, I might also want to either draw on some eyes for my snake. So let's do one with some eyes drawn on there. Or of course, you could also make those match a little bit better. You could also add googly eyes. So you can decorate it however you want. Um, have some fun with this. But I am going to glue that tongue onto it by adding a little glue to this side of the tongue and then putting it right behind whoopsies there we go right behind like that all right got a cute little snake face now i'm going to glue that to one of my strips right in the middle of it too so going kind of like this I like to bend it up a little bit just so that, because I know it's going to be sitting like so. So there is my snake's head attached to the first chain. Now we need to link it, right? We got to link that chain together. 
So from here, it is the same step over and over again. So this is the good news. You've gotten this far, almost all of our instruction portion is done. From here, we're just gonna add glue to one end of the paper. We loop it around and we connect it, giving it a little hug between our fingers like this. And we've got our first link there. Now I'm gonna choose the opposite color of paper and I wanna put that through that circle that I just created. So it's through it like that. And same thing, I'm gonna put glue on one end, wrap it around, and connect it. Give it a little hug so it holds. Switch colors again. We're gonna put it through the last one. Glue one end and connect. So you can see how you could end up making a really long snake if you keep on going, or you could have a little baby snake like this. Totally up to you. Once you're done though, please make sure to come into our hall of frame and to, so click on the link right down here at the bottom where it says hall of frame. And you'll claim your frame by putting in your name down at the bottom, right there. We'll put our name on in there. And then you'll come up top to where it says insert, oops, image, and choose your camera. And then take a picture of your cute little snake. It's going to be adorable. I can't wait to see these. Thanks so much for joining in, and we'll see you next time.